gas prices are going up, electricity prices are going up, everything's getting more expensive. So this is why my wife recently asked me. Okay, so what's cheaper, having an electric truck or a gas truck? And the good news is thanks to you, I have data to actually figure this out. And today we're gonna to be looking at the F-150. And this is cool because we have a gas version of the exact same vehicle. So it's a much better apples to apples comparison when we're thinking about our electric vehicles, or in this case, electric trucks, cheaper than gas ones. Okay, first let's start with the fuel efficiency here. So looking at the average reported back from everyone that rode in for the Lightning, we're looking at 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour. You can think of a kilowatt hour like a gallon of gas, but much cheaper. And the average monthly miles driven were 1,400, which is the same as I actually drive here in my Rivian. So a little bit above average in the US, but not too crazy. Then the average price per kilowatt hour from everyone was 22 cents. So when we do all that math, we figure that we need 666 kilowatt hours per month. Creepy, I know. So when you multiply those out, the 666 and change kilowatt hours you need per month to travel these 1400 miles times the 22 cents per kilowatt hour, you get $146.67. Now, if you add that up, you're looking at about $1,760 per year. Across five years, we're looking at $8,800 and some change. So honestly, thinking about it, that's more than what I pay for my Rivian here, but it's because I'm able to charge at a much lower rate, 15 cents per kilowatt hour, not 22. If I were to actually change it down to that 22, we would be neck and neck. It'd be maybe a dollar or so difference. So it is pretty on par with the Rivian in terms of its fuel efficiency and that monthly cost. But now let's look at the gas version of the F-150. So I tried to pick the most apples to apples comparison here because it's always gonna be four wheel drive. It's the super crew, meaning the full size cab um, with the five and a half foot bed and all those other kind of bells and whistles. So the one that I was able to tease out here, we're looking at an average of 20 miles per gallon, that's city and highway, according to fueleconomy.gov, traveling those 1400 miles. Right now where I live in Southern California, which happens to be where everyone else rode in with their prices and everything, we're looking at $4.88 a gallon, which seems insane to me. I'm so thankful I don't have to pay that. That comes out to needing about 70 gallons of fuel per month, and that comes out to $342 of gas every single month. If you add that up for the year, we're looking at $4,100, and across five years, we're looking at $20,512. So right there across five years, you're gonna be saving almost $12,000 in fuel alone between these two vehicles. So that begs the question, what about the purchase price? Well, the F-150 Lariat gas version that I priced out is showing an MSRP of $78,379. And the average price that people paid for their F-150 Lightnings, the electric version, was just over $79,000. So within the first year on fuel alone, Loan, you're going to come out about $10,000 ahead. Now, there are other things to consider, insurance or how you finance it or maintenance and repairs, but all those things I would say are going to be pretty negligible. I mean, that almost $12,000 in savings on fuel alone is just going to trump any of the other kind of numbers you throw at it. Now, depreciation is the big one, but we don't really have depreciation figures, so I think it's unfair to bring that into this equation right now. Um, but overall, I mean, what we're looking at is the F-150 Lightning being a big savings over the gas version. But that doesn't mean that the electric version is for everyone. The gas version of the F-150 certainly has its advantages. Namely, if you drive long periods in a day, for example, my wife's dad drives hundreds of miles a day because he works in construction. He's driving all over Arizona doing concrete inspection. So for him to have to charge an hour out of his day or so is just not tenable. It's not an option. So you need to be able to refuel. So the gas version definitely has its advantages. But if you're like 70 plus percent of people that mostly use the truck for very light duty type things, you know, bikes in the back, kayaks, surfboards, or whatever else, or just honestly, you like driving a truck and it has nothing to do with needing a truck. If you're like most people that do that, then the Lightning is definitely going to be a better buy for you. So 
I think that a lot of people should consider this vehicle. And I actually think that I would prefer it over this one I'm in right now. If you want to understand fully why I think that, you have to go watch my review of the Lightning right here, where I had it for a week, Ford let me borrow it, and I gave you my full thoughts of living with it day in and day out. So that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you back here next time.